Hi everybody, I'm Max Scoville, and on today's fix, some wacky Twitter annex from both Xbox and PlayStation, yet more speculation about a brand new Silent Hill game gets shot down, and if you can't afford that new Nintendo Switch, you can always just buy the dock on its own. In terms of gaming news, today is easily the most exciting Thursday this week. <laughs> Now, before anyone writes slow news day IGN in the comments, yeah, it is. It happens to everyone sometimes and it's perfectly natural and you shouldn't make fun of it. That said, Sony's state of play is this afternoon, but as of this recording, our biggest story is about a Nickelback meme on an official Xbox account. Timeless. Yesterday, the official Xbox Game Pass account tweeted an image of a kid playing Sea of Thieves on a tablet using what is clearly a DualShock 4 controller, along with the caption, Look at this photograph. It's one of our cloud gaming ads. Do you see what's in those hands? It's a controller from a different brand, which is a play on the lyrics to the hit 2005 Nickelback song, Photograph. If you showed this to a gamer five years ago, they'd probably assume the Xbox Game Pass account had been hacked, but as we've seen more and more lately, Xbox's whole focus with Game Pass seems less about selling Microsoft's own hardware and more about building a subscriber base for the service, even if that means they're playing Xbox games on an iPad using a PS4 controller. And by the way, if you're an Apple user and a Game Pass subscriber, friendly reminder that xCloud game streaming is now possible on Apple devices. You just have to do it through a browser because Apple's weird like that. And also, it's a little laggy. To reiterate, this post is from the official, bona fide, genuine, verified Xbox Game Pass Twitter account, so I'm assuming it was cleared with Microsoft's probably massive and terrifying legal department. The Nickelback lyrics are fair use since they're technically parody, but I'm curious if Sony has any grounds to have this photo taken down, or if they'd even want to since it's technically free advertising for their hardware. Now, at the risk of being pedantic, I'd like to point out this isn't the preferred format for a Nickelback photograph meme, which usually features an altered screenshot from the official music video where Chad Kroger's holding a framed picture, but somebody's photoshopped something into the frame to make you laugh. Ironically, had Microsoft used that image for this tweet, Nickelback would probably have had more legal grounds to flag it than Sony. Anyway, and other weird stuff that people posted on Twitter news, the hyper-advanced deep learning gaming news aggregation AI known only as Nibelian pointed out that an official PlayStation 5 commercial has a shot where the console is very clearly being played upside down, as evidenced by the disc slot being on top, which is likely a screw up on the part of whatever ad agency produced the commercial, and it's safe to assume that some harshly worded emails have probably been sent over it already, unless, Upside Down Play is a new PS5 feature that's getting announced on today's State of Play. But yeah, crazy day on Twitter. Microsoft's posting PlayStation controllers and Sony's posting Upside Down PS5s. I went to see what the old Nickelback Twitter account had to make of all this, but they still haven't unblocked me. Anyway, following the recent announcement that Konami is working with the Polish horror game studio Bloober Team, everyone's pretty much assuming they're making a new Silent Hill game, which has caused fans to go snooping around online looking for clues, and in the process, finding three Team Bloober projects filed on a site applying for creative funding from the European Union. The projects are listed with the working titles of H2O, Black, and Doom Spiro. H2O turned out to be Team Bloober's 2019 release, Layers of Fear 2, but the other two projects are still unannounced. Black is described as a first-person game set in a medieval Europe under attack from aliens, and Doom Spiro is a horror game set in a World War II Jewish-Polish ghetto. And as you might expect, fans are wondering if either of these might be the next Silent Hill. However, IGN got a statement from Team Bloober CMO Thomas Gawlikowski, who noticed that online speculation based on outdated or incomplete information can lead to strange theories among gamers, which is very true. While the studio is still using the codename Black for a project in development, he said it's very different from the game described in the listing, and finally, that after numerous iterations of the Holocaust-related horror game Doom Spiro, the team concluded it can't at the moment deliver it in a form that is appropriately sensitive to the topic and commercially viable at the same time. As for Silent Hill, Gawlikowski didn't go into any detail about what the studio is doing with Konami, but said the team has two projects in the works, one in production and one in pre-production, both of which are on a larger scale than Bloober's last game, The Medium, but that, quote, neither of them is based on themes or premises that have been circulating online in the last days. So, still silent as hell on the Silent Hill news front, at least for now. Following the announcement of a new Nintendo Switch model with an OLED screen earlier this week, which made for a way more interesting daily fix, Nintendo has announced that that model's updated Switch dock, which features an Ethernet port and is available in both black and white, will also be available separately. It'll only be available through the Nintendo Online Store and will cost $59.99 US. If you need one of the older models of the dock, they sell refurbished versions for $40. No word on if the new Ethernet-enabled dock will replace the older version in base models of the Switch if you buy one of those new. 
So there you go, Microsoft tweeted a meme, Team Bluebird didn't say if they're making a Silent Hill or not, but the recent info is inaccurate, and the least interesting part of the Nintendo Switch can now be yours for the price of a new video game. Now by the time this video goes up, we'll likely have some much more exciting gameplay and trailers out of Sony's latest state of play, but as of me reading this to you into that camera right there, this is the best we could do, and if you stuck around this long, I love you dearly. Anyway, that is your Daily Fix for July 8th, 2021. I'm Max Scoville, and for actual video game news, most of the time, go follow IGN on Twitter and on everything else. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.